Hello, my name is Lilia Arvizu Yellen. I'm a team member of Connections Official, a company that focuses on genealogical research services. Today, I will review a study by Felice Bedford, who is a professor at the University of Arizona. In her study, she investigated a rare combination of mutations within haplogroup T2E that was presumably affiliated with Sephardic Jews. For the purposes of this review, I will assume that you have some understanding of genetic genealogy, so I will transition directly into the study. But if you require background information on mtDNA, please access my presentation on mitochondrial DNA on the YouTube channel Connections Official Genealogy. As you know, investigators can trace the ancient migration of populations from one geographic region to another through the DNA of individuals living presently. One of the advantages of NTDNA is that since it is inherited only from the mother, the maternal origins of a population can be identified without the confounding effects of biparental inheritance in the recombination inherent to nuclear DNA. With this in mind, we will transition next to the mitochondrial DNA haplogroup T and specifically the subclade T2E. To begin, the mitochondrial DNA haplogroup T refers to a well-known collection of genetic mutations which are associated with a woman who lived in the East Mediterranean region about 25,000 to 29,000 years ago. She is considered the common maternal ancestor of about 10% of contemporary Europeans and about 8% of the population in the Near East. Then haplogroup T is split into T1 and T2 toward the end of the glacial maximum about 21,000 years ago. Geographically, T1 and T2 have fairly different distributions, which are opposed in most regions. Now, this is to give you an idea about the general distribution of T1. The information you are seeing on the screen is a combination of findings from two different studies that are listed at the bottom of the slide. The highest frequency of the mitochondrial DNA haplogroup T1 is observed among the Udmurts in Russia, with an incidence rate of about 15%, followed by Romania with an incidence of roughly 9%, and at the lower end of the continuum is Palestine with an incidence rate of around 3.5%. The rest of the countries shown on the screen, like Iran, Iraq, the Southern Caucasus, Albania, Macedonia, and Greece fall somewhere in between. According to Hay, the second author on the slide, T1 appears to be extremely rare in Jordan, Morocco, northern Spain, Bosnia, and Croatia. Now, when we look at the occurrence of T2, we can see that Iceland is one of the countries with the highest incident rate, close to 10%. And among the countries with the lowest frequencies are France and Norway, with about an incidence rate of about 8%. And then countries within the range just mentioned include France, Switzerland, Italy, Syria, Palestine, the Southern Caucasus, etc. To dwell a little further into T2 and its subclade T2E, let me just say that T2E is one of the most recent subclades, and it originated about 10,000 years ago during the pre-pottery Neolithic period. Also, T2E is very rare, and it has been identified among Sephardic Jews of Turkey and Bulgaria, and among conversos from the New World. These would be the descendants of the Sephardic Jews that escaped from Spain and Portugal to Mexico and other Latin American countries during the Inquisition. Lastly, T2E is defined by a 9181G mutation in the coding region of the mitochondrial DNA. Although the term signature has been used in a variety of ways, 
Bedford defined maternal signature as a specific sequence of mutations that has a significantly higher incidence rate in the mitochondrial DNA of a particular population than in the mitochondrial DNA of any other comparison group or a host population. This maternal signature is independent of the size effect or founder effects. Now, the relevance of maternal signatures in genetic genealogy is that the identification of signatures can allow groups of any size in the population to be tracked in their migration through space and time. Collections of infrequent signatures may allow for ethnic origins to be elucidated. They may generate interest in mitochondrial subclades about which there is limited knowledge or research. In this case, the maternal signature may shed some light about the descendants of Sephardic Jews that migrated from the Iberian Peninsula, Spain and Portugal, to other countries during the Inquisition. The Sephardic signature is characterized by different mutations in the first control region of mitochondrial DNA, and those are 16114T, 16126T, 16153A, 16192T, 16294T, 16519C. So how did Bedford define the inclusion criteria for the novel Sephardic signature? First, there had to be transitions from base C to base T at positions 16126 and 16294. Then mutations in the coding regions 11A12G and 14233G. Also, a mutation at 16153 in the first controlled region and at 150 in the second controlled region. And finally, the new cluster would be defined by a combination of transitions at controlled region positions 16114 and 16192 within sub haplogroup T2E. Now, how was the data analysis performed for this study? Bedford conducted a search on multiple databases of the first controlled region of mitochondrial DNA for the T2E5 motif to ascertain the prevalence and geographic affiliation of the new haplotype. Also, one T2E5 sample was sequenced for polymorphisms along the entire mitochondrial DNA and then it was compared with T2E sequences to identify any potential coding region mutations that were important for the Sephardic sequence and its relation to other branches. Next, a phylogenetic tree was built from T2E control sequences to provide further information on the relation among lineages, including the Sephardic cluster. And lastly, the frequencies of T sub haplogroups were compared across published literature of various populations, including from Europe, the Americas, and the Near East. Regarding the results, the data analysis showed that T2E5 is a rare haplotype. All known occurrences of the sequence are shown on this table. And despite the small size of the cluster, its geographic affiliation, as you can see, is striking. The matches are either definite Sephardic, suggestive of Sephardic ancestry, or readily consistent with this interpretation. One fourth of the entries is from maternal lineages that are Sephardic through the Ottoman Empire, with two from Turkey and one from Bulgaria. Half of the cluster is from northern Mexico and south Texas, a region with a notable crypto-Jewish history. These descend from the Mexican states of Nuevo León, Tamaulipas, and Coahuila, and in the United States from the border town of Roma, Texas. Each of these locations has been specifically singled out as harboring Iberian Jewish residents. And the sample that you see here seems to be from unrelated individuals. 
then the listings from Brazil, Portugal, and the one listed as Hispanic have very limited information, but they are also consistent with Sephardic ancestry. This represents the phylogenetic network of hypervariable region of mitochondrial DNA sub-haplogroup T2E from the public database MitoSearch and the sequences of the Sephardic signature. To orient you to the slide, the Sephardic signature is represented by the circles filled in red. The size of the circle is proportional to the number of entries and the distance between connected nodes reflects the number of mutations that separate them. This table describes the geographic distribution of haplogroup T. Let's take a look at the table before we dig into the data. The first row below the title lists the different populations studied, including the Sephardim in the Ottoman region on the second and the third columns, followed by Northern Spain, Portugal, Brazil, Iraqi and Iranian Jews, Ashkenazi Jews on the eighth and the ninth columns, then Great Britain and Ireland, Italy, Western Saudi Arabia, and the last two columns contain data collected from two databases, MitoSearch and National Geographic. Lastly, on the first column, you can view the list of all sub haplogroups from T1 to total T. If you look at the bottom row of the table, you can appreciate that total T lineage occurs in many regions. There is a significant difference in the incidence of total T ranging from the lowest at 4.3% among Ashkenazi Jews to the highest at 24.4% among Jewish communities of Iran and Iraq. There is also a high prevalence of total T in Italy and parts of Saudi Arabia, as expected. Regarding the Sephardic population, two of four studies involving Sephardic Jews were excluded from the data analysis, one because of the small sample size, and the other one because it focused on a single country. The two studies remaining reported incidences of T total at 14% and 11.1%. The author suggested that the 14% incidence may be an inflated estimate because it included non Sephardic Jews from Israel that considered themselves to be Sephardic. The fourth study with 4,100 subjects from Turkey and Bulgaria might be the most accurate representation of the Iberian Sephardic population, at least for the Ottoman groups. In conclusion, the incidence of T in the Sephardim is comparable to many regions, including countries of Western Europe combined, also a worldwide database, and Italy. The geographic distribution of T2E compared with other sub haplogroups of T was found to be different across the populations. Although T2E is widespread, it is less frequent than T2B in all the populations shown on this table except two, the Sephardic Ottoman and the Western Saudi. This suggests that Sephardic sub haplogroups can be distinguished as different from host populations. The proportion of T2E to T2B in Ottoman Sephardim is closer to Western Saudi Arabia than to Spain or Portugal. The frequency of T2E versus T2B is significantly different between the Sephardic Jews and Spain. In summary, a novel signature, T2E5, was identified within sub haplogroup T2E. T2E was geographically widespread despite the infrequency of this haplogroup. Incidence of sub haplogroup T2E decreased from the Western Arabian Peninsula to Italy, to Spain, and into Western Europe. The ratio of sister sub haplogroups T2E to T2B was found to vary 40-fold across populations, from a low in the British Isles to a high in Saudi Arabia. 
the ratio in the Sephardim was similar to that of Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and Italy relative to those of Spain and Portugal. Coding region mutations of 23OAG and 14499T may locate, may locate the Sephardic signature within T2E. However, additional samples and research are required in order to verify the T2E phylogenetic branch structure that has been developed at the moment. Thank you for joining us today. For more information about connections, please visit our website, www.connectionsofficial.com. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much.